In this question, they're asking us to graph the image of our point D, which has the coordinates 7, negative 6, after a rotation 180 degrees clockwise around the origin. So we have to keep in mind our rules for rotating. Our point has the coordinates x, y. So when we rotate 180 degrees, the rule is to take the opposite of each coordinate. So we would take the opposite of x and the opposite of y. So in this case, since we started out with the point 7, negative 6, when we rotate that, the opposite of positive 7 is negative 7, and the opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. So our new point when we rotate is going to have the coordinates negative 7, 6. And then we're just going to go to that point and graph it. So remember we said negative 7 comma 6. So we're going to go to negative 7, or 7 to the left on our graph, and then up 6. This time they're asking us to take the point T, which is 5, negative 6, and rotate 180 degrees clockwise around the origin. So again, our rule is we take our point, which starts out with the coordinates x, y, and for our 180 degree rotation, we take the opposite of each coordinate. So we want to have negative x and negative y. So if we're starting with 5, negative 6, taking the opposite is essentially just going to switch the sign. So when we switch the signs, our new point is going to be negative 5, 6. So negative 5 is 5 to the left, and then 6 is 6 up. So 5 to the left, 6 up, and we graph. This time we're starting with the point 5, negative 5, and again rotating it 180 degrees clockwise around the origin, which means we're going to take the opposite of each coordinate. So if our xy was 5, negative 5, when we take the opposite of each of those, the opposite of positive 5 is negative 5, so that's our new x coordinate, and our y coordinate was negative 5. The opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. So our new point, negative 5, 5, would be 5 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This time we're starting with our point I, which is 10, 2, and we're rotating it 180 degrees clockwise. When we do an 180 degree rotation, we're taking the opposite of each coordinate. So if our xy coordinates are 10, negative 2, after we rotate it 180 degrees, it's going to have the opposite of each sign. So the opposite of positive 10 is negative 10, and the opposite of positive 2 is negative 2. So our new point, after we rotate it, is going to have the coordinates negative 10, negative 2. So to plot negative 10, negative 2, we go 10 to the left and down 2. We're starting out with the point I, 4, 1, and we're rotating it 180 degrees clockwise around the origin. So just like before, we're going to take the opposite of each coordinate to do our 180 degree rotation. So the opposite of positive 4 is negative 4, and the opposite of positive 1 is negative 1. So we're going to plot the point negative 4, negative 1. So we're going to go 4 to the left and down 1. This question is asking us to graph the image of x, negative 10, 1, after a 180 degree rotation around the origin. So just like we've been doing, we're going to take the opposite of each coordinate. So the opposite of our x coordinate, negative 10, is going to be positive 10. 
and the opposite of our y-coordinate, positive 1, is going to be negative 1. So we're going to plot 10, negative 1. So 10 to the right and down 1. For this question, we're graphing the image of point Q, negative 9, negative 5, after a rotation 180 degrees clockwise around the origin. So anytime we see a 180 degree rotation around the origin, we're going to take the opposite of each coordinate. So if x, y was negative 9, negative 5, well the opposite of our x coordinate, negative 9, is positive 9, and the opposite of our y coordinate, negative 5, is positive 5. So our rotated point is going to have the coordinates 9, 5. So to graph that, we're going to go 9 to the right, and then up 5.